So you went out to shoot one of the finest pieces of content you have ever created. The location, the lighting and the vibe. Everything was great. But something went wrong. You accidentally shot everything at 24 fps when it was supposed to be shot at 60 or 120 fps. You have messed up a big time buddy. But I am here to save your day. Alright. So here we have a 60 fps clip on my timeline. And I want to use it like a 120 fps clip. So what I am going to do is right click on my clip. Click on the speed slash duration setting. Change the time interpolation setting to optical flow. And this is where the magic happens. Now, reduce the speed to 20% which is usually done for 120 fps clip. Now mark your in and out points of the clip. Click on sequence and choose render into out. So now you can see that our 60 fps clip is successfully slowed down to 120 fps. Let's make it more challenging for the software. Now, uh, let's try reducing the speed to around 5%. Mark your in and out points of the clip. Click on sequence and then choose render into out. Oh great. So we have successfully slowed down a clip to 5% also. Which seemed impossible. Let's now try this on another clip. Right click on your clip. Click on speed slash duration. Change the time interpolation setting to optical flow. Reduce the speed to any desired amount. Let's say 10%. Mark your in and out points. Click on sequence and then select render into out. Oh, wow. So as you can see, we have reduced the speed to 10% and it looks completely flawless.